Hi and welcome to Microsoft Word document tutorial of number shuffle. Yes, number shuffle. So let me show you guys how it works. You don't have to just keep typing alone on Microsoft Word. You can also have some fun by creating games. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show to you guys how these numbers will be shuffled when I close this system but right here it's actually telling me how many clicks so far for me to be able to get the number in order so i'm going to close this okay then now uh, so double click on it right here and there we go as you can see the numbers have shuffled around so all you just need to do is try to put the numbers in order so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into Microsoft Word development environment and we'll try to put one of these together. So let's start a new project. I'm going to go to file and let's select new. There we go. Okay. I'm going to now, let's bring back the whole ribbon. So I've just hold on to control F1 and get it all back yeah there we go control f1 there now the first thing i like to do is i'm going to go to insert and i need table so it's going to be four by four there now let's go to developer if you don't have your developer menu if you don't have it on this very menu all you need to do is go to file and right there select options and once this dialog box pops up click on customize ribbon and make sure you check your click on your developer menu right there there now the next thing is once the developer menu is there come right here where we have the control select and then select button that's the button right there but we want the button in here click there we go that's the button now I'm going to select the property of this very button I want to make it the height I want that to be 120 by 120 120 there now let's come right here you see we have the font I'm going to change that font to something readable make that bold uh, maybe 40 yeah let's make it, make it about yeah let's say 50 and see how, how that's going to look like there so the first caption on that is going to be one that's 50 so all I'm just going to do now is I'm going to copy it across copy and paste it right in here paste and paste and paste all right, repeat the same thing for the next row here. And so on. There we go, guys. I now have all of my buttons in place. So all I just need to now do is to change the numbers around. So that's going to be number two. And so on. Three. No, that should be two. three I'm just gonna speed that up all right the interface is all designed now and I've also I'm also gonna give all of these buttons I'm gonna give them a name that is okay this very button will be known as CMG1 there and so on this is two three and so on okay up to 16 so the next thing is you see the table i'm now going to click on select the table right click on it and let's select table property to get rid of the border so you see where we have border and shading click on that and select none let's click on ok so that should get rid of the border for us the border around it is gone so the next thing we want to do now is double click on one okay right in here what I'm gonna do is first of all I'll right click 
and I'm going to select inside I select model and right there the first thing I like to do is to create this function I'm going to call it empty slot or an empty spot checkers something like that and this is just check which slot is empty or not so I'm going to say by reference button one as command command button I'm just gonna get rid of that as command button comma and I'm going to declare another one let's copy this that will be button 2 as command button as well so enter a command there press as command button that's for button 2 close that now I'm going to use an if statement if button 2 dot caption equals nothing then I want button 2 to be equals to button 1 okay let's say button 2 equals button 1 caption there and it's just end if and if so that's the very first one and at the same time we get rid of whatever content we have inside button one we press enter and change that to button one right there now that is done now we're going to declare a subroutine another subroutine i'll call that solution solution checker okay in here let's say if active document dot cmd1 dot caption equals button one and the next one is going to be button two and so on so let's just copy this and let me collapse this that is two and equals two okay and again copy the next one will be three and so on three so let me just speed that up okay guys so what's happening in here is if all of the button is one two fifteen then we just need a message box that will say well you've got it all right that's it well done you're a star okay and that's it now the next thing is let me end if and if okay once the message is displayed what I then want the system to do for me is is to actually count so let's copy the active document we say active document dot count equals active document plus one plus one there okay the next thing is I'm now going to create another sub procedure this one is going to be used to actually shuffle the buttons so let's say let's get rid of that there so let's move this a little bit so that you guys can see so in there I'm going to declare the following variable so let's say dim a 15 that's an array there then comma dim i and dim j r n as integer there now let's say dim a flag as boolean so that's going to be yes or no whatever sure might happen there 
now the next thing is let's assign a value to this very flag flag equals force for now All right and i equals one a equals j a and j equals one itself then i'm now going to use a for loop here a do y loop here do y i is less than and equals to 15 i want you to do as follows just randomize the whole procedure for me or the whole system there by rn that will we use that to convert whatever we have into integer yeah that's 15 multiplied by random yeah. close that up plus one that's to make it does okay let's see what do I, what have I done wrong right I'm missing an integer here yeah okay that's fine the next thing is let's use a for loop now I have how many one okay I need another bracket there right so I now need for j equals one to i and if a equals r n close that up then the flag becomes true equals true let's say exit exit for and if and get it next there so the next thing is let's move it up a little bit again the next thing i'm going to do now is use another if statement if the flag flag equals true then flag equals force equals force right else a i equals r n there should be an equals there there why i equals i plus one and if and loop now that is taken care of so here let me copy this active documents so the active documents and i want the active document to be active document dot cmd1 that's for the very first button dot caption equals that'll be a one that's my first button assign the value so I'm gonna copy that paste 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 and just speed that up so this one is two three four five six and so on and we have to change this one around as well okay so i'm going to speed that up and get back to you guys all right all of the functions are taken care of now so have a good look at it so let's take it from the top if all the buttons are arranged in order this message is displayed why the one below that is just to reset the whole system so you see this one this shuffle i'm gonna have to call that so i might as well copy it 
I will call that inside the document so have a good look at the codes so that's just a reshuffle now let's come into the design itself 